Next up on WTV, a mini cheerleading clinic, hands-on experience for small animal management, and this week's edition of Real Talk. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Hawk Nation. Today is Friday, October 14th, and I'm Karina Gawaska with the Day's Daily Update, brought to you by Wingspan TV. The cheerleaders are preparing for their Little Red Hawk Clinic tomorrow morning. WTV's Alexis Holding has more. The cheer team is once again hosting a cheer clinic for younger students tomorrow morning from 8 until 11.30 in the main gym. The clinic is an event where the Red Hawk cheerleaders are able to help coach younger students through various cheers and games, which will help prepare them for a performance on October 27th. We just, uh, it's an opportunity to get, uh, get into the community. Uh, we teach them uh, cheers and chants and a little dance. Uh, the girls just have an opportunity to play games with them and just uh, be active with them. The cheerleaders and the younger recruits spend time together to rehearse and build bonds between the students. Uh, my favorite moment was probably at the game when um, we actually got to cheer with them. They just had like big smiles on their faces and they looked so happy, which was really cute. The clinic is $50 with participants receiving a t-shirt, a bow, and free admission to the football game in which they will be performing. To register, scan the QR code on the screen. Reporting for WTV, I am Alexis Holding. For many students, taking the SAT involves prep classes, but now students can also take a practice SAT. There is a $10 fee for the mock SAT exam that must be paid through OnlineSchoolFees.com. Exam fees are due by 5 p.m. Once you pay the exam fee, students will be sent a Google form to fill out by October 19th. Once they fill out the Google form, they will send instructions on how to take the test virtually. Students will then have a four-month period to take the test from home on their own. For any questions, email shelln at friscoisd.org. Late payments or registrations will not be accepted. Reporting for WTV, I'm Karina Goroskaya. One class on campus has a unique opportunity to gain hands-on experience. WTV Sachi Kuchu has a story. As a part of their semester-long project, Small Animal Management is applying what they have learned about dog training to teach Huey the Golden Retriever new tricks. Teacher Brittany Avant thinks the reality of the project can be challenging. But it's not as easy as they thought it was. Um, I know a lot of folks are excited about Small Animal Management and getting to be in the class that you play with the dog. Um, and it is a lot more than playing with the dog. He is uh, a little stubborn sometimes. And so kids are having to figure out that it's not one size fits all for training. And so the thing that they saw on TikTok one time, um, or maybe even the thing that worked for their dog at home, will not potentially work for the dog that we have here. Despite the challenges, student Max Dode is grateful for this opportunity. I do think it's a good idea to be able to train the dog because first of all, we get the experience to train the dog, but then since he's just in here, when we're talking about dogs, Miss Avent can like point to things on him, like this is where our harness would go, brush this, blah, 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 blah. And it's really helpful to have that visual aid. Reporting for WTV, I'm Saji Kuchu. On this week's edition of Real Talk, WTV's Lauren Sinclair asks students about the PSAT. Hey Red Hawks, this is WTV's Lauren Sinclair with this week's edition of Real Talk. What was your first impression when you opened the PSAT? Um, the reading, I opened it and I already hated it. Honestly, I didn't know what was going on. Uh, I was really confused, so. Um, I saw that there was a lot of questions and I wasn't very excited to be taking it. What was your least favorite section and why? Um, probably math without calculator because I can't do math, like simple math. Um, probably the reading because it took the longest. Uh, probably the third or fourth because I had no idea what was going on, so. What do you think your score was? Um, I don't know how good it was because my calculator didn't work. Um, probably like a solid 1260. Definitely like maybe a 1300 or like 12. I don't know. That's good. That's good? Yeah, that's oh. good. Oh. <laughs> maybe like nine, 980, I don't know. Reporting for WTV, I'm Lauren Sinclair. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Would you like the student council to advertise or recognize something for your organization? Fill out the media form if you would like a poster, graphic, or lunch announcement made. Athletics clubs and other organizations may fill out the form found via link through the Stuco Instagram account, add Frisco LHS underscore Stuco, or by scanning the QR code below. Interested in science? Join the Science Honor Club. 
The first meeting is October 18th in room C236. Join our mind by texting LIBSNHS23 to 81010. That's it for today's daily update. This is Karina Gorlska for Wingspan TV.